Hello and welcome to another episode of Retro Gaming with Ricardo. This week's episode is Jetpack, but Jetpack Refueled, the 2007 released remake of the original 1983 game Jetpack, which appeared on the ZX Spectrum and VIC-20 back in the day. Jetpack Refueled is a shooter video game developed by Rare and published by Microsoft Studios. It was first released worldwide on Xbox Live Arcade service on the 28th of March 2007 on the original Xbox 360. The game is the fourth and final instalment of the Jetman series and a remake of Ultimate Play the Game's 1983 ZX Spectrum game, Jetpack. The game follows Jetman as he attempts to build his rocket in order to explore different planets while simultaneously defending himself from hostile aliens. Details of this game were first leaked in February 2007, shortly before Rare officially announced development later that month. During the development process, Rare attempted to ensure that the game did not feel too similar to the original Jetpack, whilst keeping the core mechanics of the game available to players. The game received mostly favourable reviews upon release. Critics praised the updated graphics and gameplay, however they did criticise the overall repetitiveness of the game and its multiplayer mode. It was later included in Rare's 2015 release on the Xbox One, Rare Replay, which was a retrospective compilation of the majority of their back catalogue. As I've previously mentioned, the game is a remake of the original Jetpack with overhauled high definition graphics and 128 levels. It also features competitive gameplay over Xbox Live, leaderboards and achievements. Similar to the first instalment, the player assumes control of Jetman and is presented in a horizontal wraparound, which consists of six platforms on which Jetman can maneuver onto. The original Jetman only had three platforms. Jetman is first tasked to assemble his rocket, which spawns in three separate parts that are scattered around the map, and then fills it with six fuel canisters before taking off to the next planet. After that then, the entire procedure is repeated. In addition, Jetman has to defend himself at each of those planets hostile aliens and collect the valuable resources such as gold, platinum, nuclear materials and smart bombs which occasionally do fall from the atmosphere for bonus points. Now Jetman is not defenseless. Jetman's only usable weapon is his laser. What the difference between the original game and this game is that the weapon does have upgrades. The weapon upgrades also spawn around the map, which once picked up will give Jetman various upgrades. Upgrades include a wider spread of fire, horizontal and vertical fire, and original horizontal fire which inflicts more damage. The player starts the game with three nuclear devices or smart bombs which, once used, will eliminate all the enemies on the screen. Jetman also has the ability to boost, which will temporarily make him move much faster than he normally does, although boosts will require you to recharge once they are depleted. Jetpack Refueled features a multiplayer mode that can be played either offline using a split screen or online via Xbox Live. In this mode, the player has to compete one-on-one -on -one in a race to build and refuel their craft before their opponent does. Fuel and rocket pickups can be stolen from opponents by shooting them or by using an EMP or smart bomb blast at close range. Lives are unlimited in multiplayer and the winner is determined by the highest score. A version of the 1983 jetpack is also included with Rare Replay's Jetpack Refueled and it's a welcome addition to the game. In a retrospective interview, Rare designers of the time took interest in the then upcoming Xbox Live Arcade 
and offer to develop a new game for the service, rather than release one of Rare's Xbox 360 launch titles, such as Perfect Dark Zero and Camino. Rather than simply porting the original ZX Spectrum title to the Xbox 360, the development team decided to expand Jetpack and experiment with new elements. The team ensured to keep the original core mechanics of Jetpack whilst designing new features of the game. The designers also stated that the development process for an Xbox Live Arcade game differed from a retail title owing to the process and power limitations that had to be constantly synced over Xbox Live. These differences with development on the Xbox Live surface was the only way optimization shifted from graphics and game logic, stating that this was more difficult than it would have been for an Xbox 360 title, such as Camino. In future interviews, especially with Next Gen, the designers stated that the initial development of Jetpack refueled. The senior management kept entirely away from the project. Where Rare's management allowed themselves to view the game, they offered the developers a fresh eye and a more frank criticism. For the development took place before the management was shown the game again, and it was nicknamed a clean room test. Jetpack refueled along with every title in the Jetman series appears in the retrospective August 2015 compilation on the Xbox One Rare Replay, which contains 30 of Ultimate Play the Game and Rare's titles stemming from their back catalogue. Upon release, there was favourable reviews as I mentioned. Reviewers praised the updated graphics and addictive gameplay, however they criticised the repetitiveness of the game and the mediocre multiplayer mode. It received an aggregated score of 72% from game rankings based on 16 reviews, and an average score of 73 out of 100 on Metacritic, based on 17 reviews. People from Eurogamer praised the visual makeover of the new game calling undoubtedly the best addition to the series. Greg Stewart of GamesRadar labelled the updated graphics as trippy, preferring them over the primitive original. IGN similarly thought the graphics were the strongest aspect of the game, praising the vibrance and colourful effects, whilst calling the ZX Spectrum version nostalgically bad, which I believe is quite harsh, considering one was made in 1983, and this one was made in 2007. As mentioned in the previous review, when we looked at the original version of Jetpack, Jetpack Refueled is the fourth in the series. Jetpack's popularity spawned two other sequels, Lunar Jetman and Solar Jetman Hunt for the Golden Warship, which was released in 1990. Lunar Jetman was chronically hard, having you use the joystick or the keyboard, but not exclusively. You had to use the joystick and the keyboard to put down decking plates, to pick up the bomb, to drop the bomb, all these sort of things. And very few people, I think, could actually play it with as much vigour as some of the other games of the era. Solar Jetman, Hunt for the Golden Warship, in 1990, however, was not released for the ZX Spectrum due to its disappointing sales in the original NES version although a version for the Commodore was finished but never released. Since its release, Jetpack has been included in other games developed by Rare. The game is playable in Donkey Kong 64, where it could be unlocked to play in Cranky Kong's laboratory after obtaining 15 banana medals. Beating Cranky Kong's high score rewards the player with a Rare Wear coin, which is necessary to beat the game. The game was retained in the April 2015 console re-release of Donkey Kong 64 on the Wii U, despite it being technically owned by Microsoft. When the first iteration of this game was originally released in 1983, the game sold a total of 300,000 units for the ZX Spectrum and generated 1 million in revenue for Ultimate Play the Game, the development who developed the game at the time. This enabled the brothers Stamper to gain a foothold in the early video game market. After that game's release, Jetpack was parodied in a long-running crash comic strip named Lunar Jetman, which ran from 1984 to 1991.
the original game, later won Game of the Year, a very prestigious title, at the Golden Joysticks Award in 1983. So this was Jetpack on the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One, available via Xbox Live Arcade and on the Rare Replay retrospective back catalogue release that came out in 2015 for the Xbox One. I think a fantastic game and very playable. I play it now on a regular basis. Although I don't play the retro version as much as perhaps what I should, given the amount of time I spent playing it as a child on the ZX Spectrum. I've been Ricardo and this has been Retro Gaming. The game, Jetpack Refueled. Thank you very much for watching. Please look out for more videos in the series and comment if you've liked what you've seen. See you soon.